Hmm. Okay, it's white now. Okay, this is good. Okay. Okay. Hi everyone, I am back with a new video and I am going to be sharing with you my November favorites and Obviously, it's December, but I'm gonna be doing this a little bit late. I don't have a lot of stuff to share with you, but these are all new, I think. But if you're not familiar with my favorites video, just go to my channel. I have a playlist of all my monthly favorites since last year, so that's a really long line of favorites video. Let's get started. My first favorite is a hair product, and I did feature this in a video way back. If you've been following my videos, then you've seen this before. It's from my Influencer Vox box, and I will link the video where I talked about this one in the description box, as always. But it's the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Complete Care Shampoo. And the main reason why I love this is that it smells really good, and it leaves my hair super smooth and shiny and smelling great. So this is how it looks like. And this is a really, really big shampoo. It's 381 ml, and I think this was around four, five dollars. I'm not sure, but it's definitely less than ten dollars. So you might want to check this out. I really love the smell of this one. If you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I went to Vegas for Thanksgiving, and I was on a hunt for a travel-sized. Wait. <sighs> brain fart. I was looking for a travel sized facial cleanser. So I found the St. Ives Blemish Control Green Tea Scrub and it claims to gently clear breakouts and calm redness. So that was very catchy. I brought this with me and tried it out when I was in Vegas and I seriously loved it because I had two active breakouts like over here when I went there and it was a drag because you're in Vegas, you want to do makeup, and then you want to look fabulous, but you had two ginormous pimples on your nose. But when I started using this the next day, it was almost gone. It was shrunk, and at the next day, it, it literally dried up and it disappeared. So that was freaking amazing. So when I got back, I was looking for a full-sized one, and I didn't find any, so I panic bought two of these and they were literally the two left in the shelf so seriously try to check this out for you guys who have issues with redness and obviously breakouts and ever since I used this I haven't had breakouts I usually have like one or two breakouts every single day like I'm serious every single day but right now I don't have breakouts and I'm so happy about that I've pretty much revamped my skincare routine, so if you're interested in figuring out what my new skincare routine is, just let me know because I can make a video like all about that. But if I do feel like it, I'm probably gonna post a blog about the stuff that I got. Anyway, I reverted back to the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Toner, which I featured in my December, wait, January, I think January to February favorites um, last January and February this year. Uh, I showed you guys a travel size or like a sample size of it and I shared with you how much I love it, especially since that was like winter time and right now it's winter time. I love this because it doesn't dry my skin a lot and um, it does minimize my pores and it's natural. So I've been reverting back to like natural stuff and anti-aging stuff because I gotten over my acne treatments and all that because I find that um, the, the longer you use them, your skin doesn't react to them the same way anymore. So yeah, this is huge. This is 473ml for less than $5 at Walmart or probably any drugstore. My favorite scent, oh my goodness, I went to Victoria's Secret and they were having this sale and I, I didn't really go for the I think that was like seven underwears for $27, although it was very tempting. I didn't really go for that. Instead, I just got this Victoria's Secret Sexy Little Things Noir Tease, and the sales lady told me that this is literally their most popular scent from, from Victoria's Secret. I'm trying to breathe. Okay, this is their most popular scent, and I wanted to get the full size, but I don't know why I didn't. I just got this tiny size for $10, which is perfect for my purse. But I am definitely going to get the full size of this. If you've tried this, oh my god, how much do you love this? <laughs> Let's move on to makeup. Face products. 
Okay, this beauty blender is the bomb diggity. I have a video, of, no, I don't have a video. No, I do have a video about this. And I have a, what is, what is this? I have a video about this in a blog post and I will link them in the description box. Everything I'm gonna talk about in this video will be linked in the description box. The Advanced Mineral Makeup Foundation and Press Powder. I have a video about this. It's a review and a demonstration in a full review post. I will link them in the description. I should stop saying link them in the description box because everything will be in the description box. But just so you know, it's in the description box. Go check it out, you guys, because I love this stuff. The last face product that I wanted to share is the Urban Decay Complexion Primer Potion Makeup Base, which I got from this really awesome deal that I talked about in my previous video. And it comes with the All Nighter Setting Spray. And I have a story about this. I went to Vegas, right, and I brought this with me. And I was unpacking, and I even shared on Instagram and on Facebook that I lost it or I left it in Vegas. I was seriously thinking that it was in Vegas. So I was seriously, seriously depressed because I love this face primer, and this could seriously last me probably more than three months. But it just appeared a few days ago near our cat Lumi's bed and apparently she played with it when I was unpacking so that was a huge huge surprise. The eye products I'm going to be sharing with you is the Lorac Pro Palette and the Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon Palettes which I have reviewed on my blog. So just go ahead and check that out because I love these palettes, seriously. And I also love the Lorac eye primer that comes with the palette. So go to my blog and read about it there. I seriously, seriously suggest it because you might want to buy these after reading my blog post. Just saying. I have two favorite lipsticks for November and probably December. And one of them I'm wearing right now, it is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in Sugar Plum Fairy and I know I am so late on the boat when it comes to this particular lipstick and I've heard so many people say it's the MAC Rebel dupe but it looks like this and it's on my lips right now. It is so gorgeous. I love it. And the other one is this really pretty pink that I have not seen in any other brand so far, like as far as I know. And it's the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in Don't Blink Pink. And it just looks like this. And I did share a picture on Instagram showing you guys how I wore it and how it looked like in the picture. So I will be coming up with a blog post about the Wet n Wild Mega Last Mega Last Lipsticks with swatches and how they look like on my lips. That is it for my November favorites. I hope that you will try to check out these stuff because I seriously love them and how many times did I say seriously in this video? Count and let me know in the comments below. And how many times did I say literally? Count and tell me in the comments below. I will see you in my next video. Please check out my advanced mineral makeup review, my pro palette and my wet n wild palette reviews on my blog. Thank you again for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.